Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are discussing question and answers for Microsoft Power Platform Developer PL400. If you find this content helpful, please like, comment and subscribe. To find the complete list of question and answers, you can download it from the playlist link provided in the description. Do share please. The question is, an organization implements Dynamic 365 Supply Chain Management. You need to create a Microsoft flow that runs daily. What are the two possible ways to achieve the goal? Each correct answer presents a complete solution. The options are Option A. Create the flow and set the now frequency to daily and the interval to 1. Option B. Create the flow and set the low frequency to hourly and the value to 24. Option C. Create the flow and set the flow frequency to the hourly and the value to 1. Option D. Create the flow and set the flow frequency to daily and the interval to 24. The correct answers are option A and D. Our next question is, you need to determine the primary cause of the issue reported by interns when they use the app. What is the primary cause? The options are, option A, interns have the system customizer security roles but need the environment maker security role. Option B, interns have the common data service user security role but need the environment maker security role. Option C. Interns have the environment maker security role but need the common data service user security role. Option D. Interns have the environment maker security role but need the system customizer security role. Option E. Interns have the environment maker security role but need the delegate security role. The correct answer is Option D. Our next question is, you are a Dynamic 365 developer working in a model driven app. You add a button to an entity form and to the view for the entity that calls a JavaScript functions. When you click the button, it results in an error. You determine that JavaScript function is calling another JavaScript function in a different web source. You need to resolve the error. What should you do? The option A is in the JavaScript web source, add the missing web resource as a dependency. Option B, add an ribbon debug equals true to the app URL and run the command checker tool. Option C is from the ribbon workbench, add the missing JavaScript web source as a custom rules in enable rules. The correct answer is option C. Thank you.